Keep your eyes on Jesus. The reason everybody is here. And honor him this morning. We have to finish one more section, though, because I put in here that we were going to go all the way through this section. Okay? And I do not want to have someone say, <laughs> See? You didn't do that section. Okay. Chapter 12, verse 9. Meanwhile, a large crowd of Jews found out that Jesus was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests made plans to kill Lazarus as well. For on account of him, many of the Jews were coming over to Jesus and putting their faith in him. Jesus was there with Lazarus. There was a strange sense of fellowship there. Lazarus had been dead for four days. Guess what Jesus is going to go through? Lazarus had come back from the grave. Guess what Jesus was going to go through? Lazarus was mourned and missed by some. Right now, Lazarus is the target of the Jewish religious leaders. Guess who else is the target of the Jewish religious leaders? You know, sometimes you just need to be with somebody. Sometimes you just need to have communication with somebody who has gone through or is going through what you've gone through. Whether it's losing a job, whether it's losing a relationship, whether it's an operation, whether it's recovery, whether it's, you just need to be with somebody who says, you know, I was there, I know it was hard, but you can get through it. What you don't need is someone to tell you that it was a piece of cake and you're really a wimp. <laughs> That's the last thing in the world you need, Right? Okay. Jesus sought some, Lazarus, some fellowship time with Lazarus. Yet we don't know. Did Lazarus get killed after Jesus was killed? We don't know. It's highly likely. It's highly likely Jesus, because of his faith in Jesus, because of what Jesus has done for him, that Lazarus was killed. Would he take away any of that time with Jesus? No. Would he spare any expense at this feast? No. Was he the one that raised his hand and said, you know, my sister spent a whole lot of money right there? No. No. When you spend time with Jesus, it changes you. When we take the Lord's Supper every week, it should, it should change us. It should bring Amen. us back. It should center us. Amen. He died so we don't have to. Amen. He's a sacrifice. He is our Savior. He is the reason for our faith. The, the sacrifice He made is why we love each other. And that should center us every week when we take it. And it's our prayer this morning that it centers everybody here.